I mean, I'm home. Kids, that's it. Coming, mom. Assalamu alaikum, dad. Wa alaikum assalam. Are you ready? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to the Family Circle a show which is dedicated for the entire family Inshallah remember to have all of your brothers and sisters your parents or the children present uh, in this sh- uh, to participate in this show inshallah so you can all benefit and gain some beneficial knowledge inshallah today uh, in today's episode we will be starting a new chapter from Riyadh al-Salihin a very important chapter and a serious chapter as well this is the chapter of tawbah the chapter of repentance the chapter of repentance and turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is tawbah what is repentance? If you look at the word tawbah in Arabic, it's derived from the verb taba, taba yatubu, tawbatan. And linguistically, that has a meaning of turning to, turning to and returning back to a point. And that is the essence of repentance. When a person repents, they turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They realize they have done something wrong. And so they go back to their creator with regret and sadness. And they want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them for the sins that they have uh, committed and the wrongdoing that they have uh, done. Very important question we need to ask ourselves is why do we need to make tawbah? Why do we need to make tawbah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created every human being in a weak state. وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ And man was created weak. We tend to slip over, we tend to have, uh, we commit errors, uh, we are very heedless and sometimes we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quite a lot. And so sometimes we end up doing wrong things. Um, sometimes we disobey our parents, for example. Sometimes we shout back at them. Sometimes we, even as parents, we can get very angry with the children and maybe be unjust towards them. Man is created weak. That's the reality of life. And even the Prophet ﷺ said, Every son of Adam is a sinner. But the best from amongst them are those who make tawbah back to and repentance, and they repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So tawbah is very, very important because we need to understand that we are all sinners. We have to acknowledge that, that we, we have to have the ability to recognize that we commit mistakes and commit errors. There's no good thinking that we are righteous and that we are just practicing Muslims as if that will save us on the Day of Judgment, just having that label. No, we are all sinners. And so we need to be con- continuously in a state of seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. And that's what Allah says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ And so all of you, تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala جَمِيعًا Every single one of you. أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ If you, you know, O believers, in order that you attain success. Another important question that we need to ask ourselves is, is how does tawbah actually occur? How do we actually do tawbah? And I'm going to mention, inshallah, three brief uh, stages uh, just that we understand the process of tawbah, how it actually uh, occurs. The first stage towards tawbah is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a person uh, recognize that they have committed a sin. Many people are unaware of this or they are heedless to this reality. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when he spoke about tawbah, ثُمَّ تَابَ عَلَيْهِمْ لِيَتُوبُوا And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He turned to them. He turned to them first so that they can make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first stage of tawbah is Allah actually helping you and assisting you in recognizing your fault and your error. And we know many people, and if you think, if you can look to your lives and see the people around you, that they might be committing so many grave sins but they do not even acknowledge that they're committing any sins or it doesn't even uh, touch their hearts or it doesn't even worry or concern them that they're committing sins and that's a worrying state 
where a person doesn't even acknowledge that they're committing wrong. So the first stage is to be able to see your own sins, is to be able to see your own faults. And that's really important. You know, us as families, we need to be able to have this quality whereby we can admit that we've done wrong. And so, for example, if your parents have told you that you have done something wrong, you shouldn't just get arrogant and, and, and have pride and say, I haven't done anything wrong. And likewise, you know, it's not, it's not just for children, for adults as well. It's important that we, are, we, have that, uh, we develop that ability to recognize our own faults. The second stage to that is after recognizing that Allah, after Allah giving you that ability to recognize that you have committed a sin, you then turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ask Allah to forgive you. You have that regret in your heart. And then thirdly, the third stage is that Allah, he then turns to you again and he accepts your repentance and he forgives you. So these are the sort of stages or the process of tawbah and how it actually occurs. And if we uh, look to the beginning of the chapter, uh, as we know, Imam Nawi rahimahullah, he usually adds a few comments. In, in most cases, he adds a few comments at the beginning of each chapter and some verses from the Quran just to clarify uh, the purpose and the intent or some important masail or issues pertaining to the topic beforehand. And in this case, um, he spoke quite a lot, actually, he wrote quite a lot. And so very quickly, we'll go over what Imam Nawi mentions at the beginning of the chapter. So he says, firstly, scholars say that it is a duty to repent uh, for every wrong action. It's an obligation. It's a fart, it's an obligation that we make tawbah for the sins that we have committed. Uh, if it's a disobedience which occurs between a person so if it's an act of disobedience which occurs between a person and Allah and does not involve the right of another human being, um, repentance therefore will have three preconditions. Okay, so sometimes we commit the sin against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for example, we might not wake up for the Fajr prayer. Now that's a sin, subhanAllah. And if you're mature and you have reached the, the correct age, then it's an obligation upon you to, to start praying your Fajr prayers. And that's an obligation between you and Allah. It's, it doesn't involve any other human being. So this has three conditions. If you want to make tawbah, it has three conditions. Number one is that the person must stop committing that sin. They must stop committing that sin. Uh, so in the future, you need to make that intention that you're going to get up for Salat al-Fajr, for example. The second is that he has regret, nadam. Um, regret, and he feels bad in his heart that he has committed that sin. And that is the essence of tawbah, as many scholars said. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ مَا التَّوْبَةُ nadam That that the essence of tawbah lies in regret. The essence of tawbah it lies in regret. The third condition is that he 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 has resolved not to ever uh, to return to that action again. So you have that resolute determination. You have that strength, that inner sort of determination that I'm not going to commit that that sin again. So these are the three conditions in order for the tawbah to be sincere and to be done for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. If, however, uh, of the Imam Nawi he mentions, if one of the three is lacking, then his repentance is not sound. Now, if though the sin it involves another human being, then we need to uh, look at that in further detail. The author says, if it involves another human being, repentance has four preconditions, four conditions, the, those three that we have already mentioned, and the, the fourth condition is that he discharges his duty to the other person. Meaning, for example, if he uh, stole that person's wealth. Now, that's a sin that involves another human being's rights. And therefore, uh, you need to be able to return that wealth back to that person. It's no good just saying, oh Allah, you know, I took that person's, you know, hundred pounds for example I stole a hundred pounds or I stole their mobile phone and you still have that hundred pounds and you still have that mobile phone in your possession and you say oh Allah forgive me and you still have it no this is not acceptable you have to return that item back to that person so um, and then he gives an example he gives some examples of how you can sort of discharge those duties of the other per relating to the other person 
Um, so if, if it is money, for example, then he pays it to him. Um, if he slanders that person, then he needs to make that up either by uh, uh, going back to that person and saying that I've wronged you, please forgive me. Some scholars say that's not the appropriate thing to do because if you go to a person and you tell them I backbited you, for example, please forgive me, that might lead to further problems. So the, probably the best thing to do in this case is to ask Allah to forgive you and to ask Allah to bless that person uh, that you have backbited, uh, etc. And then he mentions later on that there are many verses in the Quran that point to the importance of tawbah, such as the ayah where Allah says, turn towards Allah, O believers, every one of you, that you may perhaps, that perhaps you may will, uh, that you may have success. And Allah says, ask your Lord for forgiveness and then turn in repentance to him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, turn in sincere repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to conclude, inshallah, I'd like to pose uh, three questions uh, that I want you to discuss amongst yourselves. The first question is, what does tawbah mean? What does tawbah mean? The second question is, why do we need to make tawbah? Why do we need to make tawbah? And the third question is, what are the three major stages of repentance? What's the process? In the, the, the process of tawbah, um, what, what takes part in that process? What are the three major stages, inshallah? Please discuss this uh, amongst yourselves. And remember that you can download the answers, inshallah, from the show's uh, website. And uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us beneficial knowledge and to make us from those who make tawbah sincerely to him, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Honey, I'm home. Kids, Dad's here. Honey, Mom. Assalamu alaikum, Dad. Alaikum assalam. Are you ready?